Hi and welcome to another XP tutorial. Today I will show you how to repair your yeah, bricked XP Series 2 modules for in fact it will work with every XP module. Um, yeah, I wanted to update my little XP devices with the new firmware but something terribly went wrong and so I wasn't able to restore them or even to communicate with them and yeah, I just bricked them so I searched the internet for some solutions. There are some solutions with the XCTU software, but no, no work for me. In fact, so I, yeah, was really angry about that. But then, after hours of searching, I found a kind of secret method, and this method I will show you today. At first, we will have to build a serial interface to the XP modules. For this, I will use my Duma Lenovo board. As usual, I will uh, set the Arduino chip into reset mode. For that, I will wire reset and ground together. So the chip is in reset mode, because I only want to use uh, the serial interface. Now I will have to connect the XP's D out port, its second port, to TX of the Doom Lenovo, and the D in port on the RX of the Doom Lenovo. Now the XP needs some current, so I connect it to my breadboard like this, and also I will need ground, I will connect to ground and also on the doom and over. So and be careful, uh, the XP's just need 3.3 volts, so choose the right voltage. So this would be the configuration uh, when the XP module is working. Just connect it to the PC and make your settings on the XCDU software. But my module is bricked, and so here's the secret on this method. The XP has got some more ports, uh, and the very important port is DTR. It's right above the ground port on the left side, and this DTR port I will connect to ground. So to ground. And another very important port is the RTS pin. It's the fifth pin from the top of the right side. So this pin I will connect to 3.3 volts. So one, two, three, four, five. This I will connect to 3.3 volts. And now a very important pin is the reset pin. It's on the fifth side of the, uh, it's the fifth pin on the uh, left side. So I will connect here. And later when I'm on the, on, on the CTU software, I will tell you to reset the XP. For that you will just connect the reset port to ground, just a short. So this would be a result. So now we will just have to connect the Duma Lenovo board to our PC. And now I will continue in the XCTU software. So hello and welcome back. So I just opened the XCTU software. Here you can see this uh, the COM port I'm using for uh, the communication. So yeah, just configure it like this. And a real important part is the baud rate. We will have to uh, yeah we will have to set it to this uh, one fifteen two hundred. It doesn't matter what baud rate you programmed before, maybe nine thousand six hundred or what. It's very unimportant if you got a brick. You will have just to set it like this. And um, yeah, you could run a test, but in my case, uh, the communication failed. So yeah, 
I wasn't able to uh, yeah, restore the XPs or to reprogram them or to flash them new. So there was no com just no communication. So I thought I would never have a chance to unbrick the XP. But yeah, finally I found a method. And now we'll not get to the modern configuration tab. So we will go to the terminal tab. So maybe you used it or not, I don't know, but uh, you might remember the DTR and RTS pins. We just wired uh, the DTR to ground and RTS to 3.3 uh, volts. And yeah, we will have to always have to check DTR, uncheck RTS and check break. So if you've done this, you will reset your XP not your doom on the novel board, your XP. I showed you, uh, just connect the reset pin to ground for a short time. So then unconnect it. So now we will uncheck the break button and then we will click on the right area. So you see the cursor is blinking. Now we will type in a capital B and press enter. If this appears, you've done everything correct and you will have a very good chance to restore your XP or to repair it so you won't get a brick anymore. So I don't know what all this letter means or what just happened to your XP. But in fact, uh, you entered kind of a bootloader menu. So yeah, it's something different than the normal version. But now you will be able to reprogram your XP. For that, we will have to go to the modern configuration tab. Do not reset or power off your XP now, of course, then you will have to repeat all the steps. So in this tab, we will have to choose a modern version. I got a XP Series 2 module, so I will have to uh, select XP 24B. And as a function set, I will uh, take Znet Coordinator AT. Uh, the guy in the internet said that this would be the best way to restore it because yeah, it's not problematic or stuff like that. Just choose that for restoring. Maybe you want to use another function set, I don't know. Here you can select the version. It's always important to select the newest version. And it's very important to check always update firmware. And now you will just have to hit the right button and then your XP is going to be restored or reflashed. So this worked for me perfectly and this should work with every uh, brick XP device. So just if you got a hardware damage, uh, it won't work. But uh, yeah, it's a really good method. If nothing goes, this will be the right method to choose. I won't use the right button now because I just restored my XP's, but this will help you 100% to get back your XP's and working with them. So yeah, and after that you could configure it the way you want it. Just uh, unconnect the RTS and the other, yeah, the two pins we just, uh, yeah, the DTR and RTS pins, if you want to configure them in the normal way. So yeah, you have to remove these connections we made. Yeah, I hoped I could help you with this tutorial. It was not easy to f for me to find the information, but I finally got it. So, yeah. And uh, thank you to all the subscribers for my last videos. Really a big thank you. So, see you.